Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today I'm here with our project car, the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. And I am going to try my hand at plasti dipping the rear emblems. And the rear emblems include the Accord, the center H emblem, as well as the 2.0 Touring emblem. And if you've been watching the channel, first, thank you. If you've been watching the channel, you'll know that in a recent past video, I did attempt to vinyl wrap the front H emblem. And actually, I think it came out pretty well. If you'd like to take a look at that video, I'll leave a link in the description below, or you can go to the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring playlist on the channel. So today, will be the first time I use Plasti Dip. I've never used it before. Usually in the past, I simply replace the emblem. That works out fine. However, it can be rather expensive. So I am trying Plasti Dip and I've tried the vinyl to see if one of those two are a better option than paying more money for replacement emblems. In addition to that, the vinyl comes in many more colors than replacement emblems can be found in. So it might be a good option for those of you who are looking for a very unique color. And I'm quite frankly, I am curious to see how easy or how difficult it is to use Plasti Dip. So if you're interested in learning how to Plasti Dip your emblems, then stay tuned. Before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. So this is a I wouldn't say it's a windy day. It's a little bit of a breezy. It comes and goes, probably not ideal conditions. It's 64, 65 degrees. Uh, the warmer, the better. Uh, I'm sure it dries a lot quicker, but these are the conditions I have to work with. Obviously, you don't want a lot of wind because it can blow some debris, dust, and that could dry on the Plasti Dip. Uh, but you want a drier, warmer condition so that it dries the Plasti Dip much quicker in between coats. But I'm gonna apply the first coat of our Plasti Dip, and then we're going to apply at least four coats, and we're gonna wait anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes in between coats. So I'm gonna go back and forth, and I'm gonna overlap on either side. I'm gonna be about six to 10 inches away. It's been 20 minutes and this is definitely dry to the touch. Remember, this stuff can easily be removed. So if it doesn't come out to your liking, at least it's my understanding that it peels right back off. So if you like texture, fine. If you want it glossy and very smooth, we can do that too. But um, if you don't like it at all, maybe you're out the money of the Plasti Dip, which by the way, I did buy on Amazon. If you're interested, I will leave the link in the description below. So 
So I just added the fourth coat. While we wait for it to dry, let's take a look right here. So some of you may have been thinking in the beginning, I should have masked off more of an area. And you're absolutely right. I would definitely recommend including the whole trunk lid, all of this bumper, just so you don't have overspray. I did not do that. I was mixed with doing this or not, but I want to see actually what happens. We do have overspray on our bumper here. I secretly really want to know how hard it is to get this stuff off. And I'm crossing my fingers that it's not difficult, that because the rest of it can be peeled off that this stuff should come off. I hope I'm not going to regret this, but we're going to finish doing our emblems and then I'm going to come back and go over this to see if it can scrub off with soap and water or if I need to use a clay bar. But I'm doing this because I'm sure some of you are wondering or some of you will run into this situation to see how serious is it? Oh my gosh, I did get some overspray. Should I be overly cautious when doing this and really wrap as well as I can or is overspray not a big deal? Now I will say just off the bat, mask off as much as you can. You can see down here, there's little dimples whether it's protruding in or out on the A, a little, little bit on the C, the rest of the letters, it looks good. Uh, it really looks good. So the Honda H emblem looks really good. I like this. I got a little bit of texture. I mean, if you're okay with texture, fine. Um, so it's not totally flat. I don't know how well that's showing up, but there's a little bit of texture there. And then down here on the 2.0T touring, now from a distance, I realize the touring is gonna look like just a big you know, black rectangle. Maybe I'll go back and, uh, I don't know, maybe even paint in white the touring itself. But for now, this looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. Next step is to apply the Plasti Dip Glossifier. I'm going to apply two coats of the gloss fire, see how it looks and maybe add a third or a fourth, but let's stick with two coats now. I just finished applying the third coat. So I put three coats on because quite frankly, it's not that glossy. So the gloss of fire, I don't know if I'd have to put uh, a fourth, a fifth, but yeah, it's a little bit, but I thought it'd be a little shinier than what it is. looks really clean. I just need to get the pieces out in between the D, O, and the A. Now this, I already pulled off when I was pulling off um, the masking tape, I should say, it's painter's tape, and it cleanly removed off from the edges, which is great. I think the best technique is to pull away instead of pulling up. I pulled up in some of these areas and I think that's, that's why I had, it, it, it didn't come off as cleanly. The Plasti Dip is easy 
but time consuming. So you do have to mask off your entire car, uh, which takes a little bit of time. When you apply the various coats of the Plasti Dip, obviously not very difficult, but you need to leave anywhere between 15, 20 minutes on average for it to dry. And if you're applying four coats, five coats, and then after that you apply your glossifier, that could take some time. But if you don't want to have texture, you might want to just go with replacing the emblems or using vinyl. But there is definitely a texture to this. I personally don't care. When you're this close, obviously you can see little flaws like I have in the A and the C with a little bit of dimpling um, on the letters, but you're never gonna be that close. And remember, this is not permanent. If you're sick of it, you wanna change the color, you wanna go back to stock, if it starts peeling for whatever reason, you can remove it all, remove the Plasti Dip and either redo it or just keep it off. Uh, with all that said, I'm excited it's done. I think it looks great. I'm really happy with it. Um, I did mention earlier that I did get some overspray. A lot of the overspray, by the way, and let's just take a look here, easily comes off just by rubbing, which is nice. You just rub it right off. Even here, I rub some of this off. So I'm not having any problems with uh, the overspray really sticking well. I think that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for joining and until next time.